What's really critical in your product is having something that's beautiful, having something that people stare at and want to stare at and want to use because it feels intuitive. Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about UI and UX. A lot of people when they're doing SaaS are focused on product development, so that means back-end engineers, DevOps, things like that. What's really critical in your product is having something that's beautiful, having something that people stare at and want to stare at and want to use because it feels intuitive. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to jump into a screen share shortly that explains some places that you can go to to find and fill the gaps that you currently have when it comes to your UI. Uh, how you develop your product, how you make it intuitive, how you make it work, and how you make it really, really functional. So the one thing that's really important is developers typically are not designers. So you really need to segment that out and you need them to have independent roles that are doing independent things. I'm going to show you a few places that you can go to to find those good designs that can help you out with your product. So you'll have front-end developers and you'll have back-end developers. We have a strong, solid team of software engineers, DevOps, and all of the JavaScript and all of the Node.js developers, we have those in place really functional. But what we've never really had is a UX designer, so it's kind of fallen on my shoulders to do the designs and the styling of things. Now, we're at a stage that we have stopped using myself because obviously my responsibilities are in other areas of the business, and we're finding quick solutions, other ways to do these designs. So by designs, I mean the website, the styling of the website, the brand, but most importantly, I mean the functional components of drag as a tool. So how does it look when you're using drag in Gmail? How does the pop-up look when you click write a note or amend a comment? And these are really important things to stay consistent on. So two tools. The first one I'm a little bit biased on, but this is Designer Now. Designer Now for a single price for under £500 a month gives you unlimited graphic design. That's really cool for banners, for adverts, for certain designs that we need. And then separately from that, how do you find a, a good quality UX designer? UX design is quite different from banner design and things like that. It's understanding how a user interacts with your products and how best they should be interacting with your product. So we went over to Dribbble and we actually searched for Gmail. And what we found was some absolutely amazing, amazing designers that have been designing their own personal projects for Inbox and Gmail. So clicking on this, for example, this is a designer who's done Gmail for iOS. And you'll be able to see the quality and the capabilities that they have based on the designs they've listed. Inbox by Gmail. Here's an example, Sparrow redesign. So somebody's redesigned the interface. So this gives you a really good understanding as to the, how good that designer is for you. We've started to engage with some of these designers and it means that not for a full-time salary, but on a per-project basis, we can engage with these designers. They're really good designers, and you can actually see how good they are by the historical designs that they've done, so it's a really great resource. So I think that covers it. These are some short, quick places to get started. Long-term, obviously, your goal is to have someone in-house, a top, top quality person who's specific and dedicated to UI design, who knows your product inside out, who knows your users, and can start to work really closely with the developers and guide how that product is being developed and managed. But in the short term, hopefully what I've just shown you on that screen share explains some places that you can really get started fast. Enjoy, I hope it helps. Another video to follow shortly.